Um, thank you. Hello, my name's um, Ness Smith, and I'm from Markapol, which is the Marine and Coastal Policy Unit. Um, and I'm representing them, and more specifically, the Valmet project, which I'm going to talk a little bit more. Um, Markapol is a group of, sort of very interdisciplinary scientists um, looking at how we can provide better evidence for sustainable use and protection of the marine environment. Um, we've got four key areas of work, and the thing I'm going to focus on today is marine ecosystem services and economics. And I've been very nicely queued up by Dylan and Dave, so, so thanks very much for that. Um, Valmer is it's an interreg project. We're looking at how marine ecosystem services assessments can be used for better management in the Western Channel. We've got 11 partners, I think eight, about 80 individuals, um, including PML and the MBA, and um, also three local authorities. Um, I don't really need to do this bit. Um, it's been very nicely done, but quite a nice cartoon. Um, but I, I see Dave's complexity, his riverine complexity, and I raise it by 10. The marine environment is just the most difficult environment to, to work with, with ecosystem services. Um, you know, the typical example here, you know, we look out, what's down there? We don't really know. We're still really struggling to know what's down there, which makes trying to think about ecosystem services even more complex. Um, it's actually incredibly biodiverse. This is the, all these photos are mine taken in and around Plymouth. So that's just on our doorstep. Um, so ecosystem services approach. We do have many, many marine ecosystem services. The obvious ones everyone would think about is fish. Actually, it's one of the, the sort of, it, it's very high for carbon sequestration, recreationally, um, storm alleviation. It's endless. Um, so it's something that we're really starting to look at. So, but why are, we, why are we doing it specifically? I think you saw the examples that both Dylan and Dave were, were giving. Um, it's very much a terrestrial um, area of research at the moment. Um, managing the marine environment is very tricky, as I said, because we don't know what's there a lot of the time. So there's a lot of commonality and, and, and increasing pressure as well. Um, so we know, it, we know it's, been, it's been proven to work on land, um, but it's very little tested in the marine environment, if at all. There's very few examples of where it's been used in a practical application. We've got values of various ecosystem services, but it's not actually been used in management. So testing methods is really crucial so that we can move this on. And it's also, importantly for us, it's a chance for our stakeholders to learn more about the approach. Um, and again, I don't need to go through this. It's growing popularity as a management tool. So the marine, the marine sort of scientists, we need, we need to get on board with this. And as you can see from, from I'm pointing at the screen, I always do that. You, you can see from, from all of these examples that they're sort of mainly terrestrially based. Um, so we've got um, six case study sites and we're looking um, across a really big range of ecosystem services, some very broad scale, some very specific. What we're doing is we're working in an interdisciplinary way across five work packages. Um, and what we're trying to do is, is have an assessment of those ecosystems. And that's not just, I use assessment quite carefully, it's not just trying to place monetary values on those services, it's also sort of the, the, the more intangible ones, particularly looking at um, sort of cultural services, the, the spirituality, that, that side of it as well. Um, at each site, we've got a, a really different range of governance systems in place, which also means we've got a really good chance to test different, different ways and approaches. Um, some key outputs to say that the whole point of this, this project is, is not just to start valuing the marine environment, but actually to make recommendations to, to government, policy makers, decision makers. How, do you, how might we use this stuff in the marine environment? So there'll be guidelines that are more specifically economic guidelines. How, how do you actually do this stuff? Um, looking at lessons learned and recommendations for practitioners. There'll be a best practice guide, how can we use this to engage citizens? Um, and it's a very wide ranging project, um, which I think we're going to have about 20 at least peer review papers to come out of it. So it's a big project. 
Um, just like to thank all our partners. Um, those, those are actually the, the 11 partners I was mentioning, and our funders. And um, Dylan might see Southwest Water there in the bottom. I've been trying to get hold of him, so I'm really glad he's here. Um, so, so I'll leave it on that. Thanks very much. Thank you.